Hello and welcome to Open Logic. And this is System Verilog in 5 minutes series. In this video, we're going to learn the basic of System Verilog by using Hello World. And the objectives of this series is to provide a simple approach to learning System Verilog. And as such, it would not be able to cover all syntax, all background, and all usages. We'll be focusing on the behavior of the code and not so much on the digital hardware design concept. And there will be a separate series to cover those areas. And this series will also not cover the simple coding concepts such as if-else statements and for loop. Having said that, I would very much want these tutorials to be standalone and I will try to cover the basic as necessary as possible. Before we start, let me share my experience of when I first started on System Verilog. Many years ago, someone asked me this question. Is System Verilog a hardware or a software? I was new and I linked coding to software and I was immediately corrected that System Verilog is actually hardware. Well, I was wrong definitely, but in all fairness, System Verilog is both hardware and software. Or in the better term, it can be used with Synthesis 2 or Simulation 2, where Synthesis is hardware-oriented and Simulation is software-oriented. And now let's get started. First, you need to create a module. A module is a representation of a block, traditionally a design block. Test is a name provided for the block. The bracket here can contain input and output parts, but since this is a testing block, it does not contain any part. Initial is a syntax where a code starts executing. It is like the main function in C programming. The dollar display is a system function provided by Simulation 2. It is used to print messages. And finally, hello world is the message. Before I forget, initial block, dollar display, and hello world are pure simulation code. They cannot be synthesized into a hardware design. You can use multiple initial blocks to start different execution. Every initial block runs in parallel. In terms of order, there is no way to tell which one happens first. In this example, hello again may be printed first instead of hello world. But in terms of timing, both happen at time zero. As a general guideline, it is recommended to use begin end block to wrap around codes that belong together, even if there is only one line of code. If you have multiple lines of code, the begin end block becomes necessary. Within the begin end block, every line is executed sequentially. In this example, hello world is guaranteed to be printed first, followed by hello again. However, in simulation time, that still happened at time zero. You can introduce simulation time delay by using hashtag followed by a time notation. In this example, hello world is printed at time zero, and then hello again is printed one nanosecond later. Initial block should be a syntax that is easy to understand because it is quite comparable to software programming. In Verilog, there is another syntax to kickstart an execution. It is called always block. Always block will execute repeatedly, and it requires a trigger event. In this example, the trigger event is 1 nanosecond, which means the block will print hello world every 1 nanosecond. The triggered event can also depend on the signal instead of time. The example here shows an always block that uses a clock signal. It will print hello world every time the clock toggles from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. You can also limit the trigger event by using the syntax pause edge or neg edge, which means positive edge or negative edge. A positive edge means a toggle from 0 to 1, whereas a negative edge means a toggle from 1 to 0. In this example, hello world will be printed only when the clock toggles from 0 to 1. Now, always block may be synthesizable depending on how it is coded. In this video, all the examples are used to print messages and therefore none of them are synthesizable. Alright, that's it for this time around. Do check out the playlist for more tutorials on System Verilog and please support by clicking like, share and subscribe. 